The state government says it'll spend nearly $100 million to help local businesses make more products from recycled materials. As part of its 10-year recycling plan, it'll chip in $1 for every $3 a business spends towards processing plastic and glass here instead of shipping it offshore. Here's state political reporter Bridget Rollison. It's a small business with big ideas. So here's the shredded plastic. So from this to this, it can become anything, really. Precious Plastic it wants to expand production and turn plastic bottle tops destined for landfill into household items. But a lack of funding and the cost of local materials means it's at a standstill. Two and a half thousand dollars for a mould made here, whereas we have uh, found a contact in Greece who can make the same mould for a few hundred dollars. It's a similar situation for one of the biggest plastic bottle users in Victoria. Most of Coca-Cola Amatool's bottles are now made from recycled material, but it doesn't come from Australia. 16,000 tonnes of material that comes from Taiwan. Uh, we want that to be local product. Uh, for, to be local product, you have to have local industry. The state government will now help businesses that want to build or expand their recycling facilities. $3 from the company, $1 from government. Uh, we think that there'll be many, many companies that come forward uh, to expand their current operations, uh, but also some brand new players. The announcement is part of a 10-year recycling plan, which includes a four-bin system for every Victorian household. But the Premier's conceded ratepayers could be footing the bill. I can't rule out that there may be some increases, but we're working very, very closely with councils to try and minimise those. Another tax. You know, this is a bin tax. This is just growing to the list of the 20-odd new or increased taxes since Daniel Andrews has been elected. But for business owners like Kayla, she's relieved something's finally being done. I feel like it's quite a long time coming, especially with, um, you know, all the, the coverage of the recycling crisis over the last few years. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're well and truly ready for it. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Nana Wadding.